excited to get to speak to the Parkers today and hear a little bit about their story <laughs> and their journey um, and this entrepreneur world win. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for, for taking the time out of your day to, to hang out with me a little bit. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> okay, so we'll get started. I'm going to pry a little bit into your uh, personal life. Is that cool? <laughs> yes. Okay. So tell me, I'll start with Aaron. Tell me a little bit about your, um, you know, how long you've been an entrepreneur, what you've been up to um, from the beginning, kind of a timeline, I guess, of, of where you're at. Sure. So um, I was in high school and I was introduced to network marketing and joined my first network marketing business while I was uh, 17 years old and really just fell in love with the concept, the idea of being an entrepreneur without having to spend the insane amount of money that most traditional business owners would have to spend. And from that point, I literally started my network marketing career and spent you know, the first 12 to 15 years just doing it part time. So that's how it all began. Very cool. And uh, Kathy? <laughs> I was uh I actually met him in the network marketing industry. I was 19 when we met. And uh I, you know, been in and out of companies since then. I won't tell you how old I am. Okay, I'm 33. <laughs> so, we were both kind of teenagers that knew we wanted to be entrepreneur entrepreneurs, found network marketing, um found each other in the industry and it's you know been a roller coaster since. <laughs> Very cool. So how long have you guys been married? It'll be nine years in April. Woo! Like just around the corner. Nice. Awesome. So what um so I'll start I'll start with you Kathy. What you guys have been doing this for your whole relationship pretty much. So pretty much. what what has been for you because you guys are kind of a different dynamic. You are both entrepreneurs. So you both have the uh, the pull and tug of, you know, yeah, like my, like, let's do my thing for a minute. And no, I'm working on my thing. So you have that, that pull and tug of, of what that is to both be an entrepreneur. But tell me, um, kind of for you, Kathy, what has been your biggest struggle as far as kind of playing or being in that role of a supportive wife to an entrepreneur? Oh, man. Yeah. Like you said, we have an interesting dynamic because, I mean, he he has his. I've had my own companies. We've tried working together. Um, and then, of course, you know, I'm mommy, and you know how demanding that is. And the kids always usually want mommy more at night. No offense, but it's, you know, they let dad work, but they don't let mom work as much. So it's... um been that balance and trying not to be resentful um, because of the kids and, you know, he just gets to go work and mm -hmm. more things are demanded of me. So really fighting that resentment and um, we're both A-type personalities, so we tend to <laughs> <laughs> butt heads and, you know... Um, things like that. So that for me has been my biggest struggle to find when to let go, when to step aside and also when to step up. Mm -hmm. So that's been my, my biggest challenge. So you, you spoke, you spoke, or you mentioned, um, resentment, which is something that I, he I've heard a lot, um, and that I felt myself. So what does, what does resentment look like to you? Like, what is that? Is it because, um, you're wanting to, for me, I'll, I'll, I won't put words in your mouth. For me, it's, you know, I, like, I'm working on my thing too. Like, mine is equally important at times. And you feel, I felt like that, um, you know, it, the, the scales were not um, tipped in my favor. Yeah. yeah. So what does that, what does that seem like to you? Or what does that feel like to you? Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's very similar. You know, you have, as a mom, as your mom hat, and you know, I can't speak for you, but you know, when one business may be doing better than the other business, and one partner gets to work more while the other 
you know, stays home with the kids and things like that. Sometimes I felt like I was on the back burner or my stuff wasn't as important or, you know, I didn't get as much time or things like that. And um, so that's where my resentment came from. I know it's different for everybody or different situations. You know, some people it might be resentful of the time or things like that. But for me, that's where it was. Uh, and, you know, that was my own issue of, well, I just had to figure out what I wanted mm -hmm. because, you know, like he said, pointed at me. I'm very A-type, so if I, you know, if he, if he knows that I really, really want something, I'm not going to quit throwing a hissy fit until I get it. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Well, okay, so I'll ask, kind of ask you the same question, Erin. What has been, for you, the biggest struggle in your, like, in your marriage, I know there's lots of struggles in your business, you know, trying to make things happen um, throughout the years, but what's been the biggest struggle for you um, being the spouse and being the husband um, and trying to do this entrepreneur roller coaster? The biggest struggle. Besides dealing and putting up with Besides me. Besides putting up with her. No. <laughs> yeah. she, puts up with, she puts up with me, too. Um, you know, I think that the biggest struggle, you know, is, is the balance. I mean, we all want balance and it's, it's how, how much am I going to work and not have the balance of spending time with Kathy and spending time with the girls and spending time with the family. And it's finding that, you know, the balance of being able to, to go after our dreams and, and taking the business to the next level, um, you know, making sure that I am, you know, being sensitive to all the, the stuff that she's doing and appreciating her. And, you know, there's, there's a lot to go into that, but, you know, that's, that's definitely been one of the biggest struggles for me. Mm -hmm. So what, so looking back over um, all the years and knowing kind of where you guys have come from and where you're at now, what kind of advice would you give um, an entrepreneur and their spouse if you if they you know you were sitting in a group and you know you they're freshly starting out or whatever it may be? What kind of advice would you give them um, for their relationship starting out in the journey? <laughs> First, I would say forget about balance. <laughs> Because every, everyone talks about balance and stuff. And what I found through my, you know, own life, I mean, even as a mom or whatever, balance just doesn't exist. You're always going to have times that are way more chaotic than others. So I always, and I constantly tell him, it's not about balance, it's about harmony. Just finding harmony, finding, and that comes from finding the proper and setting proper expectations of, okay, we have this really big project right now that we have to work on. Time with you is going to be a little less. Or, you know, we're going through things are really financially tight right now, so we have to buckle down. Or, you know, stuff like that. Setting the proper expectations so the other person isn't wondering. Or even the kids, you know, we do that with the girls. Mom and dad have a big project. Or mom and dad have a trip coming up. That to me is by far um, a relationship saver and that comes in communication. What yeah. would you say? Yeah, I mean I would say that setting clear which isn't always a good conversation to have, but you know, <laughs> setting clear expectations and roles for what each person is going to do, where you know, where their strengths are. You know, they may you know, she may not or I may not like certain things. Uh, that we have to agree to do every day um, with the house or with the kids and with working, but just get on the same page and move in the same direction, even though you're not necessarily together doing the same thing. You know, you, you know, it's like I always say, the whole world is battling each other and is, is against us. We have to be together in that battle. Right, exactly. And that's, that's funny that you say that. Matt and I are we remind each other all the time, it's you and me against the world. Like, we're not we're not battling each other. Like, let's stick together. We're not on different sides of the fence here. So that's awesome. So tell me, what if there has there been a an aha moment for you where you realize this is why I'm doing what I'm doing? You know, like, 
like tell me a story or something that's happened um, where you just had that kind of a, a, an epiphany. Yeah, I mean, my first big epiphany was when I was working in the trailer factory, a job that I hated, getting up at 5 a.m., and I truly had no time. I was working another part-time job as well and finding time to build my my business from home. And the, the you know, the, kind of that breakthrough and that epiphany moment was, you know, this really sucks. Mm -hmm. And how long am I going to live my life like this? You know, something has to change. Mm -hmm. And so we really, you know, banded together. And, and that's when I really kind of shifted my mindset in realizing what I had to do to break free from the daily grind and, and having, a having a boss and having jobs and was able to, you know, go full time home. And that was, you know, just about three, um, three years ago, somewhere around there. Um, you know, so that was a big one. And, 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 I, and I always have to remind myself because working from home, there's so many distractions you know, I, for one, I actually thrive in an environment where I'm being told what to do because I was a Marine. And so sometimes being your own boss is like the worst thing. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, you know, having to remind myself constantly of the, the hard work that we put in and why we're here and what we're doing, what we're doing. Yeah. What about for yeah. you, Kathy? What has there been a moment for you? Yeah, it was around the same time that he was working in an RV factory. So he was, would come home just covered in fiberglass. And the girls were little, like um, one and three. And he also was working a part-time job after that. So he would work 10, 12-hour days and then go to a part-time job after that and trying to figure out Internet marketing. And at the same time, I had my own um MLM that I was building and he would come home and the girls would want to give him a hug and he couldn't because he was covered in fiberglass and they would have to wait and then he would you know shower change spend 10 minutes and then have to leave and they were getting resentful mm -hmm. a one and three year old at him and that was just heartbreaking for both of us and that was like okay I have to help him slowly eliminate these jobs so he can go do what he can do because you know I believed in him I knew he could do it he just needed time to figure it out so that was that was a big one yeah for me is there anything that you guys would change you know we all have those moments where you're where you're sitting and you're thinking about it and you're like ah oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that or you know <laughs> I can't believe I said that. What's wrong? Like, why did I do that? Is there any moments through, you know, being an entrepreneur that you're like, oh, I would, I would definitely have changed that with each other, not in your business, but with your, with each other. Ah, oh. with each other. Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> um, that's a tough one. What would we change? You know, I mean, I, I think that part of, part of the struggle and part of, you know, figuring all of this out and, and, and it, you have to kind of go through, you know, the, 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 highs, and the, the highs and the lows. So it's hard for me to say that I would want to change anything, but, um, you know, it would probably just be more, more of that sitting down, setting expectations. Yeah. How can we work together? You know, how can, can you work on your strengths and I'm going to work on mine and really just being on the same team more from the beginning. Yeah, not against each other or like uh, micromanaging each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, setting more expectations with each other for sure. Um, and, you know, we're still just trying to figure this out and how to mesh together um, but work differently, but together. And, you know, we just take it day, day by day. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's awesome. Again, I mean, thank you guys so much for spending some time with me and talking with me and kind of letting me in on your, your little personal journey that it is very personal, you know, what you go yeah. through, you know, in your home. I mean, I know being out there, um, you kind of, everybody's like, oh my gosh, they're so awesome. Look, they're like, they're, you know, they're, she's so supportive or he's got her back or whatever, but they don't see like behind the scenes, like it's a struggle sometimes, you know, and it's, it's good that you guys 
opened up, and I know that your story will probably, you know, people will relate for sure. So I thank you again for taking the time out of your day to sit with me for a little bit. You're so welcome. Thanks for I, having us. I would also say this is so hard for us and for, I think, a lot of people. Enjoy yeah. the journey. Enjoy it. Like so many times, whether we're having great moments or not so great moments, we... You know, we don't just stop and enjoy the process. Yeah. And then we look back and it's like, what just happened? Like, where'd the last year go? Right. You know, really just dig into just the day-to-day -day grind and, and enjoy every moment. That's that's definitely a big one. Yeah. Good. It's, it's not going to be easy, but it'll be worth it. That's right. That's yeah. true. Very good. Wise Parkers you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for this opportunity and I uh, really appreciate you. You're awesome. And uh, I hope that anyone watching this got some value and uh, we're just, we're, you know, we're excited. We're loving life. Very good. Thanks guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.